Hi, my name is Rosilda. I work with Kenya Association of Manufacturers. Welcome to the third episode of Calm Live. Calm Live is a digital platform that allows us to tell you, our members and the public, about the associations, activities and initiatives that create a holistic solution for our communities and to build a sustainable manufacturing sector. In this episode of Calm Life, we feature Himanshu Dothia, the KPO leader, Bidco Africa. He talks about manufacturing in PET and the role of industry in building Kenya's circular economy. In addition, he talks about do it right, recycle right. But before that, here's the Manufacturing Minute. My name is Dr. Simon Gizuku, Researcher and Fiscal Policy Manager at CAM. And we are delighted with the focus the government has accorded the manufacturing sector, which economic history has revealed to be the sole driver of economic transformation. But there are some constraints affecting its growth. One reading is high costs of electricity, which is also not reliable. And the CAM has been engaging government on this, and we are hopeful that soon the cost of electricity rebate program will be gazetted by Treasury, which will reduce the cost of power. Another major problem is uh, logistic challenges, especially clearance of cargo. At GAM, CAM has participated in the development of a port logistic uh, report, which we are awaiting the government to fully implement, so that at most clearance co of cargo can should take four days. So we look forward to more engagement with the government, and we are optimistic that these issues will be resolved. My name is Himanshu Himanshu Dodia. I work with Bitco Africa Limited, a local Kenyan company, and we're in the beverage space, as you can see, manufacturing carbonated soft drinks, um, juices, and of course water, and our energy drink reactor, um, all packed in plastic bottles. Generally, we have 16 different uh, types of plastics, or what we call fractions of plastic. And one of the fractions is known as the PET plastic bottle that you see me holding here. Okay, this is the um, most famous um, water bottle. Um, and the value of this plastic bottle is that it's lightweight, it's very hygienic, and of course easy to uh, carry and of course very good for storage. We have to move away from the paradigm of a throwaway culture and really start appreciating the value of this plastic bottle. For example, we can start segregating our plastic waste at source at our homes, right? All you need to do is put a small container and all your plastic waste can go inside that container. Now, once you do that, then of course we have the next person in the value chain who is known as the collector, who collects those plastics, different types of plastics, and he takes it to a sorting place where he sorts out the different kinds of plastics and um, gives it to the recycler. The recycler he then takes the bottle, he washes the bottles, then he starts what we call flaking them. Once he, they have flaked them, they are converted into pellets. The pellets are then converted into fiber, textile fiber, and the end product, the applications can be various. For example, you can get a, from a plastic PET bottle, you can make a hairnet like this, which is PET, or you can even make shirt buttons, or you can even make sports shirts, or even shoes, sports shoes. When you throw away a plastic bottle, it takes approximately 700 years to disintegrate or to buy, you know, to um, into nature. And we need to prevent um, filling up our landfills with this kind of a really, uh, I would call it a real treasure, and convert it 
And the beautiful thing about this plastic is that you can recycle it over and over and over again. The circular economy is actually a plastics waste value chain, right? And at every step of the value chain, it creates an enormous amount of jobs. For example, the chain starts off at the first collectors or even at home. You went, once you've segregated your different kinds of plastics, the first collector has a job. Then comes the sorter who has a job of sorting out the different colors of the bottles, the different types of plastics. Then it, it comes the, uh, the solid waste management company who picks up these uh, different kinds of plastics, takes it to the recycler. As the PET subsector for Kenya Association of Manufacturers on behalf, we are encouraging um, our members um, to invest in collection centers, recycling centers, um, and our ask to the government uh, is, and its agencies is, that we, the companies, or the retailers or every stakeholder in the plastics value chain can come together um, and put up a recycling plant, a collection center, a segregation center, all under one roof. That is our dream. So, so that um, other types of plastics are also recycled apart from the PET bottles alone. Um, we have, um, for example, the cap here is a different kind of a plastic. It's a high density polyethylene, um, which uh, once recycled, you can make buckets, you can make um, roofing tiles, you can make basins, you can make many other um, products made, out, or even water tanks for that, uh, for that reason. So once we have that, we, our dream is that we do a hub and spoke model, whereby you have one recycling center, say, for example, in Kambu County, and it's surrounded by the other counties where um, everybody brings in their um, plastic waste to the recycling center. Similarly, we can do one in Kisumu, one in Mombasa, so, um, and our plan is to have these recycling centers where we have the Kenya Association of Manufacture chapter offices as well. Kenya Association of Manufacturers, um, KM, plays a pivotal role in terms of the advocacy for uh, ensuring that we do not ban the plastic bottle, first of all. More importantly, it has, um, in August of 2018, I'm sorry, April of, uh, April of 2018, last year, uh, we signed up a framework of cooperation with the Ministry of Environment and NEMA and the mandates were that we will uh, make sure that we do cleanups, we will make the public aware not to trash uh, the plastic bottles, okay? involve um, schools, institutions in ensuring that the collection of plastic bottles is done in a proper manner and of course uh, the most important mandate that was agreed upon was what is known as the extended producer responsibility or that a member who is in the beverage space who uses this kind of plastics should become um, a, a member of the what we call the EPR scheme. My message to the wonderful people of Kenya is Please do not throw the plastic bottles out from the windows of your vehicles. Segregate at source. Try to cultivate that habit from today. And of course, um, get in touch with Kenya Association of Manufacturers because we have a brilliant network of partners such as recyclers, such as um, solid waste management companies who can come and collect your plastic waste and um, give it to the recyclers. And basically, one of the uh, things uh, for the youth is that 
not only to collect the plastic bottles, but also, more importantly, to become innovators of tomorrow for producing more better products made out of recycled plastics.